ready to go. Let's start this match in three, two, one, go. We start our autonomous period. Both alliances taking shots at their high goal. Blue dropping off a few more than red. Red dropping off some more as well. More discs by the Red Alliance with only two seconds left to go. We see more discs in those final seconds. We're going to leave it to the head refs. They're scoring up the field, seeing who's going to take that bonus. Blue's going to take the autonomous bonus. Driver control in three, two, one. One, go. We start our driver control period. Blue Alliance going straight for the defensive actions. They're staying strong on the Red Alliance. In the meanwhile, their partners picking up discs, making their way around the field, trying to pick up their discs as quick as they can. Red Alliance are dropping off discs, just not quite getting it. They get a disc into that high goal. Red Alliance still trying to make their way. They're still playing some strong defense on that Blue Alliance. Blue Alliance comes free, releases the discs they have. We still see defense being played by the Blue Alliance. Red still takes that shot and gets discs into that high goal. We don't see many discs left on the field. Red trying to take their shots at their high goal. Blue going straight for ownership of the rollers. Blue taking ownership of two rollers. Red having ownership of two currently. Red Alliance are trying to get some discs from their team members. They take a shot at that high goal, just missed. Blue Alliance dropping off discs into that high goal. We see still more defense being played by Blue onto Red. Blue colliding with their partner, but making their way around the field. They're still staying strong on that Red Alliance. Less than 30 seconds left on the clock. We see defense being played by both alliances here. Blue Alliance going straight for the rollers. Red Alliance are right next to them, trying to take it. It is a fight over these rollers. Blue trying to stop Red from taking ownership. Blue trying to get ownership as well. We still see more defense being played by both alliances. 10 seconds left on the clock. This is where we start seeing endgame. We see endgame mechanisms deployed by Red by Blue. The tiles are covered in two, one, last second deploy as time expires. We have a lot of tiles covered here on the field by both alliances. We're gonna leave it to our refs to score it up. In the meantime, back to you, Grant. Well, that was it right there. That's again, that's why we call it Vex Worlds. These alliances were both dead even coming out of Autonomous. They knew every disc was going to count. Red pulled ahead by just a hair early on with a little bit better accuracy. I love those slingshot mechanisms. It's a little bit different from the typical flywheel. Red held that slight lead all the way through and got themselves into position to get the advantageous endgame shots. So, we'll see if it pays off for them in the end. Let's find out. Now, I want to hear, uh, actually, before we do that real quick, so one of the most incredible things about that match, in my opinion, Three out of the four teams in that match coming all the way from China. That's right, it's Vex Worlds for a reason, and we're so excited to have so many of our international teams back.